Fly to a foreign country that strikes you as the epitome of exotic or alien, whatever that country might be, preferably a country where you can't speak the language or read the alphabet. Um, go about as far from the beaten path as is humanly possible. Uh, preferably, if possible, leave civilization, quote-unquote, altogether. Head off into the middle of a desert somewhere or a jungle or whatever. Um, there's still enough people around that you have contact with human beings. You're not hopelessly lost, but um, you've kind of lost your bearings. As soon as you arrive in the, the middle of nowhere that you're searching for, take out a match, torch your return plane ticket, your passport, all of your money, and all documents. How do you feel when the sun starts to go down? Now, the thing about determinism is that it strikes me as an attempt to make sense out of the universe and make everything fit. There are certain questions that it's incapable of, under of addressing, such as, what is the ultimate nature of the laws of physics? Um, what happened before the Big Bang? Uh, what is matter? How do we reduce matter further, and how do we reduce what results from that reduction further, etc.? What do we do about the infinite regressions that may be implicit, implicit in absolutely everything? I think as a society, we've sort of, or as a civilization, we've opted to ignore these things, to say, well, we can't really go out into that territory because we have absolutely no bearings. We'd feel exactly the same way as that person who uh, deliberately put himself in a small village in northwestern India or um, in uh, among, um, say, uh, itinerant uh, tradesmen in Mongolia or something like that, just put himself in a deliberately alien situation where he has no way of relating to the situation or getting out of it. We deliberately blinker ourselves. Now, I understand that in order for us to do anything in this world, we kind of have to do that. We have to assume that there are some bearings to everything that we're doing. And I'm not against, in spite of what some people might think, adopting a deterministic point of view to make sense of the universe. Having said that, let's not mistake a model that we've constructed to avoid a sense of complete paralytic confusion in the entire universe for reality itself. There's nothing wrong with believing that 2 plus 2 always equals 4 or at least practically believing that. But if you sort of assume that that's the gospel truth, as it were, you're just as blinkered as the most fanatical theist, in my opinion. Um, because the theist has simply got the same kind of worldview as you have, but it's just his points of reference are different. Whether or not we like it, there are limits to what we know. We can simply refuse to put ourselves in a situation where we have to deal with that um, uncertainty. Um, or we can allow for the fact that there is all that uncertainty out there and make sure that we bear it in mind whenever we draw any sweeping conclusions about anything. We have to know how much we don't know and how much what we are doing and what we are thinking and, in a sense, what we are is based upon axioms, presuppositions, and self-imposed prejudices. Thank you.